The sound of the bell is the sound of the past. In those days, the Reverend Joseph Wooster got an idea of a church in harmony with nature. And so he had the architect, uh, A. Page Brown is the architect of record, working record, Schweinfurth, and the draftsman, Bernard Maybeck. The great Bernard Maybeck, who started his career right here in this little church. The rafters, my drone rafters with bark still on, were placed there in 1894. The architect thought they were not good architecture, but after the church was built, his remark was, it is not architecture, but more. It is the poetry of architecture. And then Bruce Porter did this, the round window above the altar table, and it's called the dove window. But when I asked Mrs. Maybeck about it, she said, oh, I remember what they said. They called it the return of spring. Reverend Wooster had an idea of creating a church designed by a circle of friends. That meant no one gave orders. They all conferred. The circle of friends were of course, the architects, the draftsman Maybeck, the chairmaker Alexander John Forbes, um, Bruce Porter, William Keith, the painter. It was meant to appeal to the imagination of people. Music, art, poetry, the service itself, the way of thinking, and the way of speaking. After service on Sundays, in the early days, 120 years ago, the Reverend Wooster gathered people around the fireplace with chairs and read to them from the writings of Emanuel Swedenborg in Latin and translated to English. After the reading, then they served their lunch French bread cut in pieces and toasted over the fireplace. Fresh creamy butter unsalted. And thick cut marmalade made by Reverend Wooster himself based on his mother's original recipe. You see, it was thought here that you had food for the body, the mind, and the soul. <laughs> 